All right, I wanted to show you um, a couple of group things that I think might be useful um, for you, and it's using this meta hopper. One is coloring the groups, and one is quickly turning the groups on and off, or enabling or disabling them, so you don't have to select them all. Um, so let's take a look at that first one. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to come down, and there's a group toggle. So if I bring that group toggle out, I can move it into the group, and then if I add it to the group, I can quickly come in and if you hover over this and click it, it will enable and disable everything in the group or you can right click on the edge and go to hide show and then it will show hide, right? It'll preview, unpreview everything in the group. So that one's pretty cool. Um, so go ahead and use that one if you want to. And then the next thing I'm going to do is change the color of a group really quickly. Um, very basic version of how to do this. So I'm going to go under attributes here. And I'm going to go to set group properties and then I'm going to go to my object retrieval and get selected objects and then I'm just going to put a swatch in here for color right so I'm just going to change the color of this guy to something you know near white and accept that and then I'm just going to plug this into the color just to get it ready to go and then I'm also going to plug other objects into group and it's going to break but that's okay we're going to fix it in a minute with selections and I'm just going to control C and copy that thing a couple of times right um, move that guy up and change the color on these swatches so um, if you use the same one you can just change the hue and you'll get kind of the same value right so I come in here and change that hue maybe to a more more yellow okay so now that I've got those guys set up what I can do is I can just come in here and manually pick these so if I manually pick the groups I'm just going to left click on it and hold down my shift key sort of pick every other group here and then I'm just going to come and select those objects and when I select those objects it pushes it through the set group and changes the color so if I come in and change these two and go to select here right now it's changed those so it's just kind of a quick way to come in and it saves your colors you know so you have your colors as constant and you can go in and change your colors all right so those are two sort of options you can use the final one is is not in meta hopper it's just part of grasshopper and um, we've kind of talked about it a little bit I think um, but if you need more room in one of your definitions, so you've worked on it, you need to spread it out a little bit, you can come in and hold down the Alt key and click your and click and hold your left mouse button and it'll give you this dashed line. And if you hold your mouse button down and drag, it'll give you more space. And if you hold down the Alt key, so it's Alt key, left click, and then if you keep your left click down and tap the Alt key, it'll do horizontal so you can move more space in horizontally and then sort of go in and, and arrange things as you might want to arrange them okay all right so that's it for those guys when I come back I'll, we'll look at sort of naming renaming your groups um, and maybe some more list applications for coloring them